Amen. And we come from the same state. Louisiana connection in the house. Hallelujah. But we're not, we're not, we're not here for, for, to be competitive. We're here to flow in the Holy Ghost. Before I pray, I want to say, it. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor Deborah Ooh, Springfield, Thank you, Jesus. you took me back to my Baptist church. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good and worthy to be praised. We thank God we bring you greetings from the big state of Louisiana. Amen. By way of Houston. Hallelujah. Thank God for, for um, the overseers. My good friend, my spiritual father, and mom and mother. Amen. For having us to come. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, as I get ready to bring forth your word. Lord, I don't want to look at this opportunity very lightly. But I thank you for the opportunity. I thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus that we are here to bring forth a word. A word, Lord, that will help us in 2023 to move forward in the assignment that you have given each and every one of us. We thank you because you are a good God. You're a God that sits high and looks up. You're a God that knows all by name the very hairs on our head. Now let me decrease. And the Spirit of the Lord in me increase. Have your way, Lord. Turn the people's heart to receive thy word in spirit and in truth. We bind up any distraction, anything that will try to come to the end of this word. In the name of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus inside this sanctuary. As well as outside on the parking lot. And we decree that these rooms are holy rooms. In Jesus' precious and holy name we pray. Amen. 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 First, give an honor to God who's the head of my life. Jesus Christ, who's the Lord and Savior of my life. And to the Holy Spirit who leads, guides, and directs me. Next, I want to give honor to Hallelujah to the pastors of this house. No other than Dr. Solomon and Pastor Maggie Ackerman. Come on, let's show them some love. I want to give honor to every ministry of the sound of my voice. Amen. I ain't going to go around and say your name because I may just miss you. Amen. Amen. But you are anointed of the Lord. Amen. So do the work. Amen. And last but not least, oh, and to the body of the body of Christ that is here at this great ministry. And last but not least, my good thing. The one that, hallelujah, yeah. she's custom made. Yeah. For the real I was looking for. Yeah. Custom made to feel right yeah. by my side. Yeah. And I thank God for her. Yeah. Amen. No other than Prophetess Lisa Tebow. Yeah. 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 I ain't going to stand before you one day, man, because I'm, I, I, I understand it and I know that we have another. But I'm going to give you what God gave me. Amen. 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 In the book of Jeremiah, in the book of Jeremiah, we're going to be looking at what start out with two more verses. Jeremiah 32, verse 27. And then we're going to drop down to Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Jeremiah 32. Verse 27. When you have a say amen. 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 And the word of God says, Behold, I am 
am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Call unto me. And I will answer thee. And show thee great and mighty things. Which thou knowest not. Just for these next few minutes, I just ask that you pray for me and with me. I want to talk about a simple subject. How big is God? All right. Yeah. In your eyesight. How big is God in your eyesight? Okay now. All right. Is he is he bigger than the problems that you encounter on a daily basis? Is he bigger than the doctor's report that you have that you went to and unexpectedly found out there was something that you was looking for? Is he bigger than that bill that showed up that you thought would never come? Is God bigger than the United States of America? And the wickedness that we find ourselves in. How big is your God? All right now. Yes. God is bigger. And we'll just put a hyphen right there. Whatever you are in common or have in common this day. Yes. We know it's nighttime. The day is not over with you. God is bigger. He's bigger because he knows where you are. He knows what's troubling you. You can fool some of the people some of the time. You can fool some of the people all the time, but you can't fool God. All right, all right. And guess what? You can't fool yourself. Some of us try to act as if we are right. My God. Yeah. But the truth be told, we all in a minute. Bible says all have sin and fall short of the glory of God. But thank God for those that are saved. Those that have came to the place and realized that the God that we serve, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he's a big God. He's bigger. Hallelujah. Then it is personality. Now think that they all left in a bag of chips. He's bigger than your six-figure account in the bank. He's bigger than your education that you have acquired. My brothers and sisters in Christ, tell them now we have to understand that problems will come. Jesus said, I pray for them. Don't take them out of the world. But let them stay right there. And let them walk through. Because I died. But then I rose. And when I rose, I'm sitting in heavenly places. On the right hand of the Father, interceding for those that have been left behind. But no!
There is no heart that is too shallow for him to gather up and put it back together. Yes, sir. Thank you see, I stopped by and let you know one thing. If nobody else told you today, I'm going to tell you today. God knows every detail of your trouble. He knows every detail, every difficult that you're going through. He knows everything that you're faced with. But the question is, do you know how big in your heart is? When you step outside of, of your house, and you look around and you see the trees and the flowers, the bees. And you look at the stars and the skies. And, and then you ask yourself, God is big. He's so big that he, hallelujah, I can't even number the stars in the sky. I can't even count the, the Milky Ways, the, the solar system. Because God is so big. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Even though he's big and mighty, yes. he loves us. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Even when we don't even love ourselves. Yes. God is bigger mm -hmm. than that report you have received. Thank you, Lord. God is bigger than what people try to place you in a box to be. Jesus. God is bigger they know what we face the difficulties, the letdowns. Uh -huh. Those that we thought was with us and come to find out they're all the time in us, put a dagger in our, in our back. Yes. Uh, Dr. Solomon and I, each and every day that I live, I find out you ain't got no friends. Wow. <laughs> you got some so called friends. Right, right. They're not really friends, they're associates. And, and they go around try to get on the bandwagon. A lot of times you want to come back to the bishop and tell the story. Yes, yes. But all the while, they're the one that was in the mix. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Mixing it up. Yes. I'm reminded what the OJ says. Uh -huh. There's some backstabbers <laughs> in the house. They yeah. smile on your face. All the while they're stabbing you in your back. But you know, I've experienced it done for myself. And I realize, hallelujah, um, Dr. Solomon, I realize that God is still working with me. And he's still working on me. I realize that last year, Bishop, I might have, hallelujah, his hand went when his left hand started shaking. Ah, I got to tell this flesh, you know, back up. Because I was quick with a little jab and a right hook. But I realized that I'm not fighting against flesh and blood. I realized that it really is because of principalities. I realized that I have something to deal with this. Hallelujah, you see, the devil ain't going to mess with you when he know you got you.
I don't care how, how much you think that you're all that, you still need God. Bible says without him, you can't do nothing. That's right. So I realized, Christian, hallelujah, Dr. Solomon, I realized that I have to do what Psalms 121, verse 1 and 2 say. I will lift up my eyes unto the heat. For which cometh my help. My help coming from the Lord. Which made heaven and earth. See, my thing, bitch, if I realize that me and God makes a majority. Hallelujah. If God is on your side, no devil in him. No person on earth can stop what God has for you. The only one that can hinder that is you. But you got to get to the place of where people, when they talk about you, it have to be like waters on a duck's back. And what it does, it just roll on down onto the ground. So when the head start hitting, I start rejoicing. Because I realize there's something in me that God wants to do. How big is the God in your eyesight? Some of us say, yes, we believe in the Lord. Yes, we want to do this. Yes, we want to do that. But it's still sitting down on there, most holy than now. It's still want to, should have, could have. And didn't even make a break to do what God have called them to do. My God. So God have called us with an assignment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He wants the world to see. Those that proclaim to be his people. Those that proclaim to be those that can help are the redeemer. Redeem them. Those that they say that they are a Christian. You see, God wants to brag on you. But he can't brag on you if you're not doing nothing. He can't brag on you. He can't, he can't recommend you to the devil like he did, Job. That's right. That's right. Yeah. When you talking about it, but you ain't with you not being about it.
and start praying for yourself. All right. Then you see God working in your bed. But I found out one thing, doctor. Say one thing about God. God, you can't come to him just any kind of way. People still want to deal. Come on. They still want to Johnny Cole. They still want to do this and that. Still holding on to those demons and they, and they really like them. Because, because they're still involved with them. See, one thing that I know, if you if, if you if you are very, hallelujah, feel real, very comfortable with the demons that is tormenting you, you don't want you want no God. No, 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 no. You look for somebody that feel some to feel some pity for you. But if you really want to be delivered, if you really want to see God move, if you really want God to bring a change in your life, you gotta come to him. Come to him tore up from the floor. All right. Come to him just the way you are. Because if you could have, if, 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 if you could have, would have held everything all together, you wouldn't have need to come to him. How mm -hmm. it? It's God. In your answer. See, my brothers and sisters in prayer. Bible says that the devil goes as a ruin letter. See who he made about. And here, Jeremiah said, God used the man of God in Jeremiah 32, 27 to be cause and purpose. Is there anything too hard for me? A lot of times we 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 say we love the Lord. We we say that we love Him, but we wait until Sunday morning. Uh oh. Oh, we we wait until midweek, sir. <laughs> say one thing, one thing, one thing I find out about saints. They know how to put that garment on. All right. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> they might have had all the ungodly clothes, but when it comes to Sunday morning. Yeah, they they, they, they they quick to put their sin in bed. Dressed up on the outside. Toe up from the inside. And they think they're trying to fool somebody. You heard that song before? I, I, I no know, I know one was always saved myself. Now, you play the role in the fool. Uh, when you're trying to sneak, when you're trying to do things that is contrary to what the word says, you be you're trying to sneak around. Instead of cleaning up your own mess and get right with God. Time is wrapping up, y'all. Every time when we look around, there's somebody getting killed. There's somebody in the, in the schoolhouse. Somebody on the out there in the streets. Sometimes even in your family members. How be is God in your answer? I want to cover four things right quick in about ten minutes. One thing that we gotta get to the place and be dedicated and really hooked up, tied up, tangled up. In the things of God. It's to remember this. First one, first R is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Read your Bible. All right. Study to show yourself approved on the God. Study to show yourself. A work that need not be ashamed, ready to bind in the word of truth. Mm -hmm. Second, Second Timothy 2 and 15. Don't wait to just read your Bible on Sunday morning. Right. Set a time. Make, be, be determined to set a time on a daily basis to read the Word. Yes. Because the Word of God gives you hallelujah, food for your sanctified soul. Yes. The Word of God will help you when, when, you, when problems come into your life. Jesus, I'm reminded of 
of Jesus when he was tempted of the devil. After being baptized, Dr. Solomon hardly in the real majority. By John the Baptist, he was led into the wilderness. And the devil came to him at his lowest point. Hallelujah. And told him, show him the kingdom, try to trick him. Try to trick the Son of God. And he told him, he said, all this I'll give you. All this I'll give you. If you bow down. To me. Yeah. I tell people this all, 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 all the time, my sisters and brothers, the same game. Excuse me. The same game the devil played back then. Yeah. It's the same game that he's trying that he's trying to do today. Yes. Same game. Different places. Yes. But the same game. Same game. And Jesus defeated the devil. He didn't. He wasn't. Thinking about it, he squared up and he told the devil, he said, when he told him, turn these stones into bread. Jesus told him, he said, man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word, you're proceeding from the mouth of God. The word of God is very, very, it's, it's hallelujah. The word of God is what's going to help you. Because when trouble comes, it's too late yeah. to start praying. You got to pray before it comes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Sometimes God, because of his mercy, his grace, and his love, he'll, he'll, he'll go ahead and help you. That first step. But as you grow up, grow in faith, and your faith is tired in order for you to grow, and you have to stretch out in faith. Reflect on that. Remember the faith of 
you, you know when you hallelujah, when you was in that place where you shouldn't have been. How he made a way for you. When you hallelujah, when you when you didn't have no food on your table. All right. He allowed somebody to come knock at the door. Yeah. Didn't bring you, didn't bring you a hallelujah, just a plate lunch. Brought you a bag full. Yeah. That's the type of God that we serve. Yeah. Hallelujah. You can always rejoice in the things that you go through. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that our, that our faith will be tested. Jesus. But consider it all joy. <laughs> Rejoicing. Because God is working it out. God is getting, out, getting, getting that, that you out of you. To make a brand new you. Hallelujah. It says. Have faith in God. Believe him. No matter what people may say or do. Don't worry about it. Keep trusting. Keep believing. Something out of 
inside of you uh, to try to tell the thousands of people that are here tonight about the faithfulness and how good God is to us. And, uh, and I don't know if we respond back to God the way he responds to us. You, you, you will try to, you know, I, I can sense a cry. There was an inner cry out of, out of you tonight. You were trying to express something to us that was so powerful. I, I don't know if you, if, if you grab it tonight or not, but um, there's just, I, I sense a heavy weight, a heavy weight of God's anointing here. Yeah. Um, even while you were speaking to us tonight, people were already getting healed. Amen. Miracles are already happening in this place. So I just want to thank God for you and your wife for your faithfulness. Um, I needed to say that over and over. Um, you know, um, rewards rewards are not reward. God God is the only one that does these rewards. Amen. We pour out so much. Every one of you here, we pour out so much for the kingdom. Yes. And, and I just want to encourage you that you can never be doing this and lose. No. You can never be this faithful and this committed and, you know, I mean, doing what you're doing for the kingdom and fail. So I wanted to just mention that to you. God bless you, sir. Put your hands together for this man and God Lift your hands up. Just want to sing this song. We're going to bring this man of God tonight. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. 